Hello and thanks for joining us. You are on to the iconic and my name is Omolara Ayola PMH. The last time we were on this show we were here with evangelist Mike Bamiluye for a special 60th birthday celebration and we are still here with him talking about his ministry and everything that wraps around his life. So he's still here with us today on the show. You're welcome once again sir. Thank you very much. Yes, we were talking about your ministry, the members, how they all came together, talking about the present members of Mount Zion. What would you like to say about that? Yeah, well, yeah. I thank God for the present members of Mount Zion after all those um, initial members when we started the ministry. I, I was saying it the last time that... Um, we the ministry went on full time, mm. 1989, and the ministry went on full time, and uh, went on full time starting from, um, going from cities to cities, and 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 so the members that eventually stood to to be the full fledged members of Monzaion, uh, we were, we, be, we were around 20 at that time, and. Uh, I got married in 1988, then other members began to get married also. Wow. And, and uh, so today we have um, strong members of Mozambique Faith Ministry that have been coming since then, wow. today. So today we have uh, Evangelist Joseph Yemi Adepoju and his wife. Mm. They got married also in the ministry. Wow. And Evangelist... Uh, and, and Jerry, Jeremiah Oluagbemi and his wife, mm. they got married also in the ministry. We have, uh, but there are two members who didn't get married in the ministry. We have, we have Evangelist Abraham and Moses Adebayo also and his wife got married in the ministry. And then we have two members who didn't get married in the ministry that married before they joined the ministry. Okay. Like uh, Benisa Abraham. Okay. He, he, got, he, had got, he had married before coming to the ministry. And then Matthew Bamidele also married before coming to the ministry okay. and then who again am i missing and i think as of so altogether we have a eh? yes okay. yes yes <laughs> sister grace and the uh, evangelist isaac Aketunde. Yes. thank you mm. thank you very much they got married also within the ministry okay. so and so we we and and then there was another one who also got married that is evangelist sister Adewale also oh. Yes, yes I evangelist sister that they were also got married mm. in the ministry okay. at that time. And and so we all came together and then we traveled around the nations. We were in Wari, we were in Jaws, we were in Kaduna, we were in Kano, we were in, we were in Lagos, we were in Kwara State, we were traveling, we were in Ghana, we were in Cameroon, mm. we were in Kenya, wow. traveling around like that. E except that when our wives were pregnant they were at home okay yes i was going to ask, <laughs> ask that how were you able to do all that in the no, midst of the traveling at, 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 at some time some of our wives were at home okay. and they were at home taking care of the children while the men and then some sisters were traveling around okay. at that time and and so those so, so those are the uh, our members in the ministry then there is another one and ev evangelist uh, um the bio we call it evangelist Adebayo, and and he's not Adebayo Abraham. He's not his evangelist Adebayo. Actually, his father name is Omisheni. Then okay. he changed it to Adebayo. 
That was our original initial foundational member who is into photography. Wow. But his wife took over after he has passed on to glory. Wow. So his wife took over. So we call his wife Mama Photo. photo. <laughs> <laughs> Taking in charge of all the photographs of wow. the film location, stage drama, Mondawi Institute. Mm. And all those members I mentioned all have their children here still working in the Lord. Wow. And majority of those family members have their um, children it's well established in the ministry and many of them have married hmm. now and they have children hmm. within the ministry hmm. thank you so much sir okay so talking about drama ministry in the entertainment in in the midst of the entertainment world we have the the music industry we have the drama the um, film industry what is the difference between drama ministry and other entertainment content how is it different how is drama ministry different from other entertainment content? And what is the benefit to the public? I will, I will, I will pick the, the question from this angle. The role of Christian drama ministry um, at this end time. Yes. And then that gives us a difference. Hmm. So what I, what I would say was the difference between the Christian drama production and Christian movie production and all other entertainment content. The difference is just that. Drama ministry at this time is playing a very, very strategic role mm. in the lives of people mm. at this end time. For example, it is a common thing and common knowledge that what people see with their eyes, what they watch with their ears, and what they watch with their eyes and what they see at this artist audiovisual yeah. stay longer in the heart of people. That's right. And if you look at the present time we have, we are in the audio audiovisual generation. Yes, sir. People want to watch things. People mm -hmm. want to see pictures. People want to watch movies. And so that is where Christian drama production comes in. Mm -hmm. But the difference between this Christian drama production, Christian movie production, and the secular movie production, the difference between the, them, between the two, it's just that the Christian drama production, Christian film production, has to do with spirit of man, with souls. And it's a ministry. And it's about bringing souls to the kingdom of God. Mm. And it's about edifying the body of Christ. And it's about speaking to the life of man. Why the entertainment productions, the other secular entertainment production, is about, is about um, entertainment. Mm. It's about appealing to the emotion of people. people. Mm. It's about gathering of fans. It's about pleasing people. It's about showing them what interests them. Mm. But the Christian film production, Christian drama production, which we have been living for, has to do with bringing souls to the kingdom of God, building the souls of men, mm. edifying the body of Christ, speaking, rebuking, building up the, the, the lives of people. people. That is what that is the difference. And that is the reason why the way we the way we do the drama, preparation, prayers and fasting, that is the reason why it is different mm -hmm. from when the unbelievers or the secular productions have been prepared. And that also determines the motive hmm. behind it. The motive of every Christian drama production and Christian movie production, the motive is souls. Mm. It should be souls. It should be about heaven. It should be about building people. It's about turning men to God. God. That's the motive. While the motive of the entertainment production, the secular production, is just to please the fans. Mm. It's just to appeal to their emotions. Mm. That's the difference. Regardless of the message. Whatever the message is, just appeal to people yes. and just entertain them. And that's so, so they all want to make a production that will make them adorable to their fans, mm. that will appeal to their fans and build up their fan base. Hmm. But the Christian film production, we want to speak to souls. Hmm. We want people to be touched. We want people to turn to God. So we are always pursuing, making the drama and then making other calls. People want to give their life to Christ. Yeah. Want to give their life to Christ. So that actually really gives us the difference between secular drama production and Christian film production. So in other words, no Christian production is complete if it has not really brought people to God. Like restore people back to God. Yeah, they, they, no, no, they, yes. 
No, no Christian movie, no Christian drama is complete unless it has brought people to God. To God. If Christian drama is either to revive the lukewarm Christian, mm-hmm. to restore backsliding souls, to regenerate dead lives, dead souls to Christ, mm-hmm. and to to illuminate their eyes and give them spiritual enlightenment. There is always a purpose, spiritual purpose, for Christian drama productions. Mm. And that is what my ministry, the Muslim Faith Ministry, have been living for. And that is what so many other drama ministries mm. that we are working together now, that is actually what we have been living for. Mm. Edification, revival, restoration, spiritual enlightenment, and salvation of souls. Mm. Thank you very much, sir. I want to take you a little back to the previous question I asked about um, members okay. of ministry. What would you um, say to people who want to join Mount Zion ministry? Are people still allowed to join Mount Zion ministry? Because a lot of people ask that question and they, you know, they just want to know if they can still come and join. Yeah, we, we, we do receive, we receive mails letters, requests of who wants to join. Mm. But this is what we always tell them. We always tell them that if you want to join Muslim Faith Ministries because the intent of trying to join the ministry is to act drama. is to be used by God also the way God is using us. Mm. So we always advise them uh, that uh, why can't you come to the Muslim Institute of Christian Drama? We have a drama school. Come to the institute. Learn more about the drama and Christian film production. Mm. Learn about the spiritual principles. Mm. When you learn it, then you will be able to know where you are going to serve. Mm. It is not about joining Mount Zion. Yeah. So we always tell them that majority of people who act the movies that you are seeing in Mount Zion, many of them members. came to the institute. They are not necessarily members. Mm. But when you come to the institute, you will be linked with other drama groups. You will have networking. You can join other drama groups, you can hack. Whenever you are needed, you can be called. Then, then you, are, you become a member. <laughs> so not actually, actually joining. Wow. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. And, um, you know, there are, there are a few things that um, we we'll still love to ask you. But um, to our viewers, let's take this short break. And when we come back, Evangelist Mike Pamiloye is still in the house. Don't go away. here with evangelist Mike Bamiloui. Okay, sir. The drama ministry or gospel movie or let me say um, Christian drama has moved from where it was to a new phase where quality movies are made. We have online presence. We have YouTube channels where a lot of Christian drama can be downloaded and watched. And there's also Mount Zion app. Is there a particular area you think the drama ministry need to focus on or an area that you know has not really been explored by the drama ministers yeah thank you very much um, there is still a very very visible uncovered grant that we still have presently um, I had a previous interview with the TV station and they emphasized it mm-hmm. that is the area of the children drama children movies, children educational um, educational movies, children educational videos, we, uh, we have not been able to do that. Wow. We have not yet covered that and I, and, I, and I think it is the next phase that 
drama ministers, Christian drama ministries, Christian film production ministries should begin to go into. Sure. There are a few, maybe one or two, three drama ministry and Christian film production ministry that is making movies for children mm. and bringing children together to do films. But it has not been on a very large scale. The drama ministries have been able to cater for the youth, cater for the adults, cater for the married mm -hmm. people. But we have not been able to give children what they can sit down to watch. We have not done that. And I think that um, this is time for, for children of God who are, who are into cartoon designing, mm -hmm. who are into and graphic arts to begin to think of what they can give mm. the children and what they can give to them. Children teachers should begin to think what they can, programs they can develop mm. for children so that the children can begin to be taught and spoken to right from their childhood oh, about God. Mm. And we thank God for various type of um, videos, foreign videos that we still have we have the super book, we have yeah. the, the Bible stories, we have... The second uh, month kids. Yes, all those ones are, are still working, but I think it is time to begin to develop that of African ones. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Okay, okay. So, um, we want to go a little bit into family life now. Okay. What was choosing a life partner for you? What was it for you as a single <laughs> man? Uh, I, it was very, very interesting. That episode <laughs> was very interesting one. And I, whenever I stand to teach about it, I'm very happy because it's a lesson to many other youth. Mm. Uh, what I say is very, very interesting was that, thank God, fortunately, I have begun to pray mm. for who to marry since the age 20. Wow. I have begun to pray since 20 years. I remember that since 20 years old, I've been praying about marriage. I have been reading books about marriage. I have been listening to teachings about marriage since 2021. I got married at the age, age of 28. Okay. But between that 20 and 28, I passed through different type of experience, like praying for different type of sisters, mm -hmm. thinking it is this sister, and then getting disappointed, thinking it is this one, getting disappointed. I want to f therefore say that then, um, it, it's, a, it's a common experience mm. to youth, to, to men, to male, to, to, to men, to brothers. Maybe there are a lot of people that have been discouraged before because they have been disappointed here, disappointed there, and they thought God is leading them to a sister, mm. and they got to the sister, and the sister said no, mm -hmm. they couldn't be God, and they got discouraged, that they should not get discouraged. Mm. One, of my, one of my strong desire when I was praying for to marry was that I don't want to gamble mm. and I don't want any sister to turn me down. Mm. So I want to be sure mm -hmm. of the person I'm going to talk to. Mm. So that made me to pray. I prayed so much, fasted, and I would determine that whoever I speak to must be the person. I don't want to gamble around and I don't want any sister to, to make jest of me. <laughs> <laughs> so I prayed so much until mm. I was so sure. Mm. I was so sure. After praying and fasting, and I was so sure. So I went to the sister, but unfortunately, the sister said she has been engaged. Wow. So that actually, <laughs> it was not a serious, it was not a funny matter at all because mm. I was sure. Mm. I was sure. So, so up to, I, I, I couldn't know if it was my emotion or something that was leading me. Mm. So it's an experience. It was an experience that at times you may be sure. But the leading of God is, is, is God is not God of confusion. When you say you are sure, and the person is not sure, then you mm -hmm. go and pray more again. Yeah. You go more and pray. That's a great experience. I want to say that uh, in uh, today, therefore, the youth of today, uh, they, they, they should not they should not handle the matter of choice by themselves personally. They should involve an elderly person. They can involve their pastor. They can involve an experienced person, they can involve a counselor, somebody who can pray along with them in case if they fall into a, 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 a mistake of um, thinking is the person and is not the person that they will not be discouraged mm. and become hopeless. But there should be somebody that's going to be praying along with them. Finally, I want to say that uh, today, 
matter of choice should not be handled by a person alone. Mm. There should be people around you that God will pray along with you because there is too much deception mm. all around us. Mm. Uh, on the part of the sisters, too much deception. On the part of the brothers, too that's much deceptions. Right. That's why. Be, that's why today, I think today we have too many separation and divorce. Mm. And then a year after wedding, people are fighting because there is too much confusions, too much deceptions, mm. too much, too much um, camouflage and hypocrisy. Mm. So the matter of choices should not be handled by a person without having people around you that can cancel you and pray along with you. The multitude of counseling there is safety. Yes, there is need for it mm. at this time, time. More than when we started. Mm. Because a lot of young people, they would have um, um, said yes to, to somebody before telling their pastor or telling them exactly. they would have gone far emotionally with exactly. the person. Exactly. So it would be difficult for them to detach. So it's better they handle the situation before they go far exactly. into it and, and then get other people that can counsel help them involved in it thank you so much sir okay um there is something happening in the world right now it's no longer news the the um covid19 coronavirus and um, um 5g antichrist different things that are going on in the world right now what is your view on these things i believe it is just a matter of the end time they are all just prophetic the prophetic um, um, the prophetic matters of the of the end time that has already been said long before now mm. that will come to pass antichrist will come so many things will pave a way for his coming and you can't pray it off mm. antichrist will come you can't pray it off the bible says in the book of matthew chapter 24 it talk about the pestilence and the and the horrible experiences and occurrences mm. in many places all these things you can't pray it away. They are prophetic utterances that 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 is that is Most that is meant to happen to at the end time. Mm. You can't pray it away. No, the matter of the five G. I don't know what the five G means. <laughs> I know it is communication gadget. Oh, that's what I know. But <laughs> if it has to do with Antichrist, Antichrist will come. But before Antichrist comes, the Bible says in First Thessalonians chapter four verse sixteen that the sound of the trumpet mm. that he will gather his own, mm. we will meet him in the sky. And we will go, and then the Antichrist will take over. So I don't, I don't have any business with Antichrist, <laughs> and therefore it's a counselling for every child of God. Mm. There are some things we should not worry about at all. Right. Once we know that you are, you are you are ready for Jesus Christ, when the trumpet sound, you will go with the saints to go and meet Him in the sky, mm. and any other thing can begin to happen. But so many things that is happening presently, the the pestilence, the virus, the infirmity, the afflictions, and the natural occurrences that is happening now, they are all prophetic utterances that, should, that, are, that, are, that are meant to be in place before Antichrist comes or towards the coming of the Christ. So it, is, it shouldn't be a matter of a problem for us at all. They are shutting down the churches. They are opening down the churches. They are all matter of the end time. Is, is the beginning of persecution. Yeah. It's the beginning of tribulation. Oh. Is, is, they are shutting the churches now. They are not yet getting, going to the churches worldwide, mm. getting to the churches, bringing out the Christians. And I know it is happening in some other places yes. where Christians are being killed. They are all beginning of tribulation. Mm. They are all the starting point of the end time afflictions. But when the real tribulation occurs, right. when it comes, it's going to be a worldwide news and worldwide experience that Christians, wherever they are, are going to be brought forward and tortured mm. worldwide. The way we have worldwide coronavirus now, it's, going to, it's, it's not going to be a hidden news. It's not going mm. to be happening somewhere. It's not happening somewhere. Mm. But before then, before then, we make our, our, our stand known in Christ. We stand right with Jesus Christ. The event of the end time will come. But before the tribulation comes, before Antichrist surface, Jesus Christ. We call us mm. to come and meet with him. Mm. And that's what I personally am waiting for. Yes. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you so much. Okay, so what is your advice for young people who want to use their gift for God and at the same time wants to make a living for themselves? Uh, for, for those who want to use their gift for God, there is nothing wrong 
with using your gift for God and making a living for yourself. All you have to do is just that. The gift must glorify God. That gift you have must give God the glory. And God can still bless you with your gift. That's right. But there are some people that God has called to use their gift exclusively for him. Mm. And there are some people that God has called to use their gift to make a living for themselves. But it must glorify God. Mm. There is, it, it is not a matter of the devil having a part in it. Mm. Or you are compromising your faith. So there are some people that the Lord has called to use their gift exclusively for him. So I think that the most important thing is just that whatever the gift that the Lord has given unto you must give glory to God. Either you are making a living out of it or not making a living out of it, it must glorify God. That is just it. All right. Thank you so much, sir. We're so glad to have you. And happy birthday once Thank you. again. Viewers, I'm sure you must have enjoyed this discussion. It's still Evangelist Michael Abayomi's birthday celebration. It's 60th birthday and we're still celebrating with him. It's been wonderful with him on this show as the first guest on The Iconic. Thank you for joining us until we come your way again next time. Remember to use your gift to glorify God. Have a beautiful time. Oh,